Hello and welcome back to Presenter Media. My name is Kara. Today's tutorial will be inserting a video into Keynote. Our animated templates automatically do have videos that play in the background. This example is running the gears and you can see the items playing in the background. The slide we'll be working with today, however, will be the static slide after the first slide. So let's say we enjoy having the gears happening in the first page, but we need something a little bit more generic and serene for a background image on the second slide. Now you'll notice if you click on these gears that nothing changes. You're not able to get the box around them. You can right click. You don't see anything available to you there. However, if you double click, it'll say the object you're trying to select can only be edited in the master slide. Go ahead and click on edit master. This will pull you up right to the master slide that is dealing with this particular video and this slide in general. So the first thing we're going to do is delete that video. Now you can see on slide number two that video is gone as well as on the master. Our next step will be to grab a video that we would like to use. In this case we're going to use a very subtle background. It's called the blue streak. And you can see how it just has the white background with some blue colors going through it. Now, if you do choose to have different colors instead of just the blue, you can customize it to a certain extent. There we go. Now you can see how the preview is showing up below it here. We have this pink coming in, or we have the original blue up top. For our purposes, we're going to stick with the blue, so we can use one of our quick download buttons. We'll be downloading a QuickTime video. This is the best file to be able to use for a Mac or for uh, Keynote in general. All right, now we have the video that pulled up. We'll make sure that the video is playing and that the download occurred correctly. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the downloads folder just so we have easy access to it. I'm dragging it onto our desktop here. Alright, the next step for Keynote is very simple. We have two options. We can either go to Media, which will pull up anything you have in your photos or in your iTunes, or you can go to Insert and then go to Choose. This will give you the option to go to Downloads, or in our case the desktop, where we do have the blue streak saved, and it will show you the preview. Just like the clip art and animations, you can click and drag from the desktop straight to Keynote. Notice how large this video is. Obviously, we don't need it this big, so let's go ahead and size it down. Remember to hold on to the Shift button. That's going to enable you to be able to have control over the ratio so it doesn't end up looking skewed one way or the other. Alright, now we have that video the same size as the slide. As far as the width goes, I'm going to go ahead and move that up just a little bit. Alright, now our next step is to make sure that this slide is appearing behind these title areas because you don't want it to appear like it's sitting on top, especially if you do end up needing to use those text boxes. So right click and go down to send to back. Notice now how the video falls behind that gray box. Let's go ahead and leave the master view. And now we can go down to our static slide page. Now if you play, you'll see that this plays one time, the video in the background. And it's a nice subtle blue. And then you see that it stops. Just like inserting our GIF images, the same step for this will be to go back into that video and tell it that you would like it to loop. So go back up to your master slide and click on the video. Then go to your inspector. You'll find a quick time option at the far right hand side where you can choose where the video starts and stops. 
You can tell it to start when you click, and you can tell it if you want it to repeat. In our case, we would like it to loop, and once we've taken care of this, we can go ahead and save. Now it's gotten that saved out. Let's go ahead and get out of our master view again. All right, now here we go. We have that video playing in the background that we downloaded from our website. Again, as a reminder, make sure that you're downloading the QuickTime or .mov files. That's going to be the most compatible file format for your Mac and the highest quality image. That's all for this tutorial. Again, my name is Kara with Presenter Media. Thanks for watching.